The, the case of Leonard Peltier uh, should not be ignored, neglected, or set aside, you know, by the general public. And so, you know, I appeal to you uh, to learn more about the case of Leonard Peltier. You can uh, buy the book In the Spirit of Crazy Horse by Peter Matheson, and he wrote it in great detail. It's one of the more authentic uh, readings. Uh, he wrote it in 1983. And it was out for a short while, and, and then it was, it was thrown into the courts. Uh, the governor of South Dakota at that time, Janklo, Governor Janklo, and others sought to obstruct and, and to not allow the book to be uh, published because it had a lot of information and uh, implicating a lot of people, including himself. Uh, because he has been charged by the Indian community of South Dakota uh, for raping a teenage girl, for example. But getting back to Leonard Peltier, uh, he's been in, incarcerated now 33 years for a crime he did not commit. Ultimately, he was charged with aiding and abetting in uh, a gunfight that, uh, that uh, was in June of 25, 1975 and uh, two special agents of the FBI were killed and one American Indian, uh, Joe's, Joe uh, Killstraight Stunt, and uh, Officer uh, Williams and Officer Kohler. And uh, in these times uh, uh, of different administrations of the three decades and more that Leonard has been in jail, uh, this opportunity that uh, Leonard has for parole, uh, which he just uh, had a review by the U.S. Parole Commission on July the 28th, uh, was his first parole hearing in 15 years, or certainly since 1993. Uh, and at that time, he was uh, rejected uh, from parole and told to come back in 15 years, you know, like that. Uh, and it far exceeds uh, the, the time for a prisoner to spend for a charge of aiding and abetting. Uh, and so we're, ho we're hoping and we're optimistic. Uh, we're in good spirits as Leonard is feeling good, although stressed, you know, by the demands uh, of uh, the court case and, and uh, the parole hearing. Uh, but uh, come July 18, and I say that as a magical term because the U.S. Parole Commission uh, has uh, from January 28, 21 days uh, to uh, render a decision on the parole. So at that time, we will rejoice and a new day will begin, a new agenda for the American Indian movement itself. Uh, yeah, will be reconvened and to express to the general public of where Indian people are going here in this country, North America, uh, with the release of, of Leonard Peltier. It, it will bring such unity uh, to the Indian nations and to the differences of opinions and expressions that Indian people have held in one way or another. Uh, Leonard Peltier will be a unifying force, such as what we witnessed in, uh, in 1991, uh, uh, or when uh, Nelson Mandela was released from uh, Robeson Prison, Robeson Island, uh, after serving 27 years, and how he uh, unified uh, South Africa to overcome anti-apartheid, uh, to uh, overcome the racist regime of that country, Leonard Peltier will, will uh, pursue his, his, these similar efforts to unify people and bring peace and, and justice and protection of the human rights of the indigenous people, and certainly protecting the treaties uh, that initiated that gunfight in June 75 in the first place, the violation of the 1868 Fort Laramie Treaty. This Congress of the United States has, has uh, signed, ratified over 370 treaties, and yet virtually every one of those treaties have been violated. And 
And this is contrary to the United States Constitution that uh, Article 6 refers to treaties being the supreme law of the land. And so there is, there is a case to be uh, fought there just on the merits of those violations themselves. Leonard Peltier uh, uh, will be free. We are very happy to have announced that Berkeley in, uh, on the East Bay is the only country, uh, the, the only People's Republic that is, but the only city council in the entire country of the United States that passed a resolution calling for the uh, release of Leonard Peltier, and for that we are uh, very grateful. So uh, there is still uh, time for the general public to submit letters to the U.S. Parole Commission appealing for the release of Leonard Peltier. And I don't have the number, but uh, President Obama has a, a comment hotline that people uh, can call, and we certainly uh, call on you in, in these days uh, leading up to August the 18th and beyond if that uh, needs to happen. But uh, between now and the 18th, we're calling for letters, we're calling for phone calls, and if you want additional information, you can go to www.whoisleonardpelletier.info or you can go to the uh, West Coast AIM office of AIM West at www.aimwest.info. And with that uh, being said, I want to thank you all my relations.